Hello, since I seem to have some sort of curse upon me when it comes to audio related issues, uh, this video is going to be a bit shorter than usual, I think. Uh, I'm going to use it, it's basically a bit of b backtracking, and I'm going to use it to uh, show off some ways to get points easily. Works on both normal and hard mode. Um, you want to have much well maxed out the flame launcher. It's a great weapon. It's a bit pricey on the cost of ammunition, but if you use it against the correct uh, enemies, you get a lot of points back. I'm also going to buy this firewall. It's a sub weapon that both Dylan and uh, Regina can use. I'm going to show that off on the Raptors. Uh, we're gonna need to find a part of the ship. I know exactly where it is. It's uh, at the worst possible place. Um, so we're gonna need to do uh, quite a bit of running to get there. And by this time, I'm sort of getting tired by uh, tired of shotgunning uh, raptors. This is not a raptor up here. It's one of those allosauruses. And since we have a full flame launcher, we can take care of this one really easily. What you want to do is just tap the attack uh, or shoot button really lightly. To make sure this guy can't attack you, as soon as he tries to bite you or something, he'll just bite into the flame. So you want to make sure you're firing more or less all the time, but if you start holding down the button, you waste a lot of ammo. You want to get him into a sort of stun lock where he can't really do anything. Get him into a corner is a good idea. And 4k points plus some extras. And when we leave this room, since we didn't take any damage, we got a bonus of 5k. So that's more than the cost of the firewall already. And definitely more than the cost of the ammo used. And over here we have a new one. These allosauruses don't reappear if you leave the room, sadly. They're re either um, replaced by a safe room or some other no more annoying smaller enemies. But anytime you meet one of these, it's a good idea to pick up the flame launcher. Uh, they always come one at a time when you're supposed to fight them. Uh, if you're attacked by more than one of these, you won't really have a good chance to fight them. They can get them into a corner and basically just get in uh, several hits in time. I kill them. Got a good chunk of points. There are two right here uh, which you want to get most points of out of by using the flame launcher. Uh, you can kill them with shotgun, but it's a lot riskier, and you probably won't get the know it bonus. And uh, we can equip the firewall instead of the machete. Uh, the firewall is a bit low on ammo, but it is extremely useful and, uh, and a lot of fun on raptors. But before we head off to find some raptors, we're gonna find a hidden item here. It's a keycard. You can pick it up now. Uh, otherwise, you're supposed to find out that you need it by reading a file later on and doing a lot of backtracking. Uh, but I'm really annoyed enough at the jungle. So I'm just gonna pick it up now since I know where it is. You'll get a full explanation of how to find it later if you really want to do it that way. So, Raptor. And I see it's a firewall. It creates flames ahead of you. And if a Raptor walks into the flames, they sort of totally pass out and get stuck until either the flames die out or they die and if you get in a good hit, well placed a firewall you can kill raptors with one shot and as you could see if you place it right and you're lucky you can also hit enemies that appear behind you and that's a bit tricky to do 
As you can see, Dylan isn't damaged by the f fire. You can't hurt yourself with any of your weapons. So you just step into the fire, you won't get hit by the raptors. But it's rather costly with ammunition to keep it up. Let's see what we've got here. And yeah, they're running from something. This is a sort of. Just like the Triceratops earlier. It's a sort of mini event. Instead of having cutscenes for all of this, they add some details in the background. Hello, T Rex. He doesn't really care about us at the moment. He will later on. A nice way to um, sort of mix nice mini events in with the usual raptor killing. The main use of the firewall is that it is, even on hard, it is extremely strong. It usually deals as much damage as probably four or five shotgun hits. get in a sort of full burn. And it's very good defensively. So you see he just passes out completely. And I can f uh, finish him off with a shotgun shell. Or shooting down with a shotgun first and then placing a firewall on top of it. Which means it's guaranteed to die. Horrible burning death. Like this. I run up to it and he has sort of totally spaces out and can't do anything. The firewall works quite well if you're up against the wall while you see it. But it, it eats ammo at a quite fast rate. You can of course extend the ammo. I think you can extend ammo for sub weapons as well. I'll have to double check that. And since it's Initial purchase is rather cheap. You can probably afford at least one upgrade. But still, it's just a sub weapon. Probably won't be using it uh, against anything else than raptors. And I'm gonna check the ammo cost for it. But it is fun to use. If nothing else, for the extremely silly animations. Let's see, full recovery. And we didn't have to use very, um, very much of the shotgun shell stock. Ah, and it only cost 10 per, um, per ammo. That's a lot better than the uh, cost of buying new shotgun shells. You can upgrade the cartridges, but it costs several thousand and I don't really think I'll use it enough for that. Yeah, and the heavy blade is absolutely useless. Uh, maybe on normal, if you want to do a sort of gimmick sub weapon run or something, it can be used, but I don't really see the point. So I can kill two raptors easily with just. Oh, I could probably finish them up with a shotgun, but. For 20 points worth of ammo, I got 220 points out of decision points from the kill. It's really effective. Uh, the main problem is that it. Ah! Hey, stop. Wasn't fair. Uh, yeah, it was small sort of pause when you use the um, firewall. And if you're getting attacked from behind it's completely useless and probably dangerous to use it. As you can see. If you if you're standing on top of the flames you can get hit from uh, jumping raptors. And it Burns for such a short time, you can't really build up much of the defense. Still, if used correctly, it's extremely powerful, just not really easy to use.